Okay. Here's my fan right here that I've had for about 14 years that I've been using to blow on myself when I have to turn the engine off in the truck when I'm at a customer. And it blows good, but I like something a little bit better, so I'm replacing it with this. This mini, mighty mini air mover. And thanks to my friend Anton, because it, it didn't work at first. I had an inverter that was sitting up there. And that inverter, the wire came from that inverter all the way down the truck, all the way through the bottom of the truck, all the way to the batteries, and that wire was too, was too um, long. So I went on YouTube and um, they said ideal for inverters and I have the I inverter right here now under under the driver's seat. There it is right there. It's under the driver's seat. And it's right above the batteries. The, the wire is about four feet long, about four or five feet long now. So I'm gonna turn it on. Uh, let me try to turn it on. And I have the fan on high. And it's blowing great air on me right now. Look how silent that is. I'm gonna turn it on low. That thing is real quiet too. And it blows a lot of air. Well, thanks to my friend Anton gave me an idea he said um why don't you just take the inverter from up there and just put it on the batteries right on top of the batteries for right now to see if it'll work because it was that first one i hooked it up the inverter was hollering real bad up there with the truck on even with the truck running the um this mighty this mighty mini made that inverter um holler real bad it wasn't working right so uh i went on youtube and basically, guys were saying that um, you can't, when you use an inverter, you can't have the wires real long going from the battery. You can't have them real long going to the inverter. The shorter the wires going to the inverter, the power going to the inverter is better. And it worked when I hooked it up, like Anton said, it worked. So then, at first I put it like a two foot wire on there to see if it'll work and it worked. Then I put a four foot wire on there and I was able to get the inverter down here under the, under the driver's seat, right behind the driver's seat on the floor. And it works great, even with the truck off. It's working great so far. Thank you, Anton. Thank you.